night for all of you. Thank you for joining IHF TV again. We are at the boxing because Denmark will try to get back on their feet as they face Sweden in a really attractive eight final match. Let's see what happens. The, the game isn't over yet. Um, Sweden is a good team, so uh, but right now it looks good. The atmosphere here is, is amazing. Um, it's it's brilliant. It's it's um, I get, I'm getting goosebumps. I haven't imagined that it would go so well for Denmark. So it's amazing. We're so happy. Oh, it's a lot better than I expected. It's good for the national feeling and the team spirit. Of course, we know it's going to be a tough game, but we thought we're going to make it. But. Now with eight, eight goals behind after the first half, it's, it's impossible. Do they still have chances? It's hard, but yes. Yeah. We should beat Denmark if we play good, but in the first half we just scored seven goals and uh, that's not good enough. They had uh, read what we are doing in, the, in our attack and uh, that was our problem. If we're going to play this bad, uh, we don't deserve to win. Uh, Denmark was better than us today. How much pressure did you take off your shoulders after this win? Uh, very much pressure. Um, we were very nervous before the match because we wanted so much to get in the quarterfinal and with the home audience it was very important. She had uh, Christina Christiansen on the wing in the defense so she can run contra. And I think that uh, affected everything we did today so we got more speed and more like joy to the game and I think that was what we won on. We, what do you say, go high in the field and uh, pressure them and that frustrated them a lot. That's uh, something we have to talk about, you know, especially the first 10 minutes uh, of the uh, second half. Uh, we have to be uh, a lot more concentrated and uh, on point. It's uh, really important we have the confidence uh, in uh, ourselves and uh, we, uh, we believe in each other and that's the most important thing. Just be happy now and uh, we'll take Romania later. Hands up, it's a celebration all around the world.